since Mas uh, Mamelodi Sundance have announced the deal of Marcelo, Ivan, Alendi, Bravo from Montevideo Talk, today I'll be making this video telling you what he will bring to Rolani Mokwena's team, his disadvantages and his advantages as a player, and obviously his past history at other clubs. So I do hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want me to make more videos around surrounding players that join South African clubs or anything in South African football in general, just let me know and you know, of course I will. But let's get straight on to the video. The 23 year old attacking midfielder who stands at a height of 1.68 meters, 5 foot 5 to be exact, was purchased for the price tag around 51 million rand with his market value of 1.6 million euro. He joins on a contract until June 30th, 2025. The player has played for these clubs, Cobreloa, Santa Cruz, Nakatsa, and Magallanes and of course Montevideo Talk. Now let's see what all the hype around him is. Alendi fits in the Sundowns attacking style play perfectly. He's a player that could create chances and the coach will expect him to deliver assists to the striker Peter Shashulile. Shalulile. Sorry. Alendi is a very technical skilled having quick feet sharp movements on the ball with him being a small character though he could get out of tight spaces keep possession under pressure and then he can also play deeper roles pushing the ball forward wide or between the lines as an attacking midfielder but when he receives the ball outside the box expect him to make an exquisite play to either his wingers or Peter Shalulile up front which would definitely lead into a goal I will throw up some highlights of his playmaking and some of his goal skills when I'm talking about something else I'll show later in the video. But despite Alendi being shortcoming, he is very well off the ball. Defensive minded, attacking minded in every single way you could possibly think of, but he could play a good defensive role. Despite being short, he's aggressive when winning the ball back, but something he does need to work on is the amount of touches he has on the ball. Sometimes you could take too much touches on the ball, making him lose possession, giving away the possession to the other team, which could lead to a part on goal. Well, I do hope the Sundowns fans are buzzing about the signing because I'm personally jealous I would have taken him if, I, if Amazulu went for him because I'm an Amazulu supporter but I'm glad to see that Rolani Makwena is making moves for players outside the South African or the African territory but now I'm going to show you his disadvantages and advantages in a match which could be shots on goal passes completed but I'm going to put up what we have here on screen now non-penalty goals per 90 0 0.07 as again he can play that deep role and that's what he did for montevideo talk he played a deep role sometimes for the team playing in that center mid defensive position box to box <laughs> um but if you do look at his expected goals per 90 it's 0 0.20 it's because he's a player who could sometimes get the ball outside the box take a shot on goal he'll get a shot on target but of course, I won't go in because he plays that deeper role where the angle and how can I say the the distance from goal is far. Expected assists per 90, 0 0.11. You would think for him being a playmaker that is low, but if you look of how he plays, he does deserve a higher stat than that. He does create a lot of chances. I think in one game I watched, he did create like four or five chances in that whole game. Uh, shot assists per 90, 1,28. Deep comp uh, completions per 90, 1,14. Passes to penalty area per 90, 2,49. That, in my opinion, is low. You need to improve. I think that's one of his weaknesses and he needs to improve it. Is passes to the penalty area per 90. He needs to get the ball into the box more. With him playing maybe at the cam position, you know. Uh, Abu Bakr Nasir can make runs overlapping on the left. Peter Shalulia can make those forward runs going into the box. Um, but it all comes down to how Rolani Mokwena is going to play him. Is he going to play him in that deep lying midfielder position or is he going to play him in that attacking position? Pass to the final third by 97,65. That is exquisite, in my opinion, for a player like him. With Sundowns attacking play, wanting to score goals, you know, it's something that they need. And but like with Abu Bakr Nasir making runs using that technical gift of him on the wing, getting the ball into the box is going to be no problem for Sundowns now. But the thing is though, Peter Shalulile is going to be a, is going to have to be on top of his game to finish those chances. 
Successful attacking actions per 93. That is exquisite in my opinion. That is just honestly amazing. It just shows how he could play in that deep role again and he could play in that attacking role. Passes per 90, 51. That in my opinion is the average of what a midfielder or attacking midfielder like Marco uh, Marcelo Allende should have. With him making those passes, creating those chances, it's going to be a big thing for Sundowns. And obviously, you know, he's already played for his national team. It just shows that the talent he has is going to be something long for the future. And with him signing a long contract at Sundowns, it's going to be a long-term project. Accurate passes around 88%. That is what I would say needed in this player. <coughs> He needs to make those accurate passes, accurate long balls, all of that, to actually, definite and actually and definitely show his full capabilities of his passing play. That is one of his highest attributes is his passing play, and to see that in him with uh, the attackers he has in Sundowns, those passing plays through the middle, those passing plays wide, it's going to be helping out a lot. Dribbles per ninety two comma eight, again. He can do skills, he can get past his man, but sometimes he does fail to do that. <coughs> but would like I say these three dribbles, two dribbles that he can complete, you would see he only dribbles when he has to. He doesn't get the ball, okay then I'm gonna take on the whole team, go score a goal like Messi. He's not he's like he's a non selfish player. He passes the ball, he gets past that one player and he passes the ball. Which every single player in my opinion should do. If you as soon as you get past one man, you pass the ball. You don't go for glory. That's not something I would tell my player to do. Of course, with me becoming, I uh, wanting to become a coach in the future, you have to learn, watch, analyze the game, and see how a player plays. With Marcelo, he gets past his man and he passes the ball instantly. That's perfect in a in, in, in a dribbler. Now we move on to the other stuff, which is kind of being blocked up on my webcam. Um, shots per ninety, one point one six. As I said, he sometimes gets the ball outside the box and shoots. But as I said, he's more of a playmaker. He gets the ball outside the box. He's either finding overlapping runs from Nasir, Zwane, Makuna, Shalulile. But will that change in the, pl the role he will play as a cam or as a sentiment? Will he get more shots per game? We have to see. We have to see in his debut. I'm so si excited to see him play. Everyone is. And I just hope he gets a goal on his debut. It just shows I have so much belief in this boy. He could go to the Premier League after playing for Sundowns, become one of the best midfielders of, uh, in the world. Touches in the box per 90, 1.62. As I said, he's more of a player that sits outside the box, creates chances outside the box. And how can I say, take shots outside the box. He isn't a player that will make runs into the box. He does make runs into the box when necessary, but I wouldn't say that he's a kind of player that will do that. Well, now I'm just going to cut the video now, so I do show you the highlights coming up now of him and his goals, skills, and chances. Well, as you can see here in the background, I do have some skills, goals, and chance creations <coughs> um, by Marcelo Alendi. Sorry for my throat, I am kind of sick. Well, as you can see, he gets the ball, takes a shot if he has to, which was close, but I think, I think that was a cross, to be honest. No, I reckon that was a shot. Ball was clear off the goal line. Marcelo Allende again on the ball. That skill to get past his man. He takes a shot, which actually was a goal. Wow. Um, as you can see, he's very versatile on the ball. Agile. Has good balance. Cut back. And to get some power onto that shot, it's actually amazing. Allende again, beautiful skill. Gets past his man. You see, he got past his man. And he passed the ball. He doesn't go for glory. Getting past one player, two player. See, he does one. Third man. Like, okay. Yeah, he go, he gets trying to get past the second man. Which, you know, I would have crossed the ball earlier. Um, if I were him. But look at that skill. Oh, that's just... It's honestly just... Amazing to see the talent in this boy. And what he can bring to the Sundowns team. And we're going to watch one more. Then I'm going to call it. As you can see... Gets past his player, passes the ball. And and I'm telling you, 
a short player like him will cause a lot of damage and that's something I tell everyone shortest players on the pitch I understand they don't have the physicality but you gotta understand those are the playmakers in the team um, but yes I'm gonna call it here thank you so much everyone for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you did get an understanding of who Marcelo Allendi is and what he does bring to the league and especially to the Sundance team. If you want me to make more uh, videos on specific players coming into the league or specific players that are already in the league, just let me know and I will definitely make some. I'm trying to get more into content creation and trying to get my thoughts and opinions up on players in, you know, the South African um, uh, football scene. And I mean, I love it. I honestly love it. I wasn't a big fan of South African football a year or two ago. But with the passion I see, all the fans and, you know, with all the clubs doing well, I actually started supporting Amazulu and now I'm just dogged on to South African football and especially watching the national team. It's just honestly a blessing to have such a good, you know, sport in this uh, in the country. But anyways, I don't want to keep you guys here for too long. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, hope you enjoyed.